When it comes to Windows 11, there's been a recent update for Home and Pro, which is a 25H2 update. And this promises to bring some improvements as well as of course some performance improvements to Windows itself. But at Tech Yes City, I absolutely love using LTSC versions of Windows over the Pro and Home versions. I just think they're so much better in terms of utility. They don't have all the extra bloat in there. And I just feel like I get a better experience out in terms of snappiness, as well as when it comes to benchmarking in CPU heavy scenarios, I can extract some extra FPS too. However, with this 25H2 update, I noticed that there is a sort of unofficial update floating around for LTSC which is 25H2. So today we're gonna to put this to the test against 24H2 and just see if it's worth updating. Now, in terms of the actual patch itself, you can download this from Mediafire and how legit it is, I'm not too sure. I'm actually gonna be a bit of a guinea pig here today. So let's go on a journey and see if this update gives you any extra performance or any extra utility. And also if you're looking to get Windows 11 or 10 LTSC keys for cheap, I'll put some links in the description below, but we'll talk about that more later. Let's get on to the benchmarking. So we have now just finished installing this update and we've got some pretty good news. And that was it's a relatively quick update on Windows 11 LTSC. And it also indeed changes the text as well as the uh, build number of the unit itself, where we've gone from 26100.7171 to 26200.7462. Here was where we tested out three different games with 1080p low settings on a RTX 5090. So this is like max FPS for those people who just want to be as competitive as possible. It's also a 9800X 3D with 6200 mega transfer memory. So it is very quick. And here's where we looked at Counter-Strike 2 first up, and we got very similar numbers with 930 average FPS versus 936. The 0.1% lows were also both very similar. So trading blows in average FPS and going the victory for the after. However, I will give sort of a bit of an advantage after we look at all these benchmarks to the after here, because if we go over to Fortnite, we again scored slightly higher FPS, 596 versus 590. The 0.1% lows were actually identical and we tested in the exact same part of the map. Then we move over to the last game here, Cyberpunk 2077, and we had here 269 average FPS versus 273. Then the 0.1% lows were slightly higher on the after. So overall, when we look at the three games here, we've actually got a win for this after. And this update looks like it's a nice, quick, easy fix for those people on Windows 11 LTSC. So I'll get to put the links in the description below where you can get this update from, as well as if you wanna get a copy of Windows 11 LTSC activated, you can do so with today's video sponsor, VIP SCD keys. I've never had a problem with using their keys. They're all single and use the license. So for those Windows 10 lovers out there, you still got a great option too. However, back to Windows 11 LTSC, you can use the coupon in the description below, BFTYC on checkout, get a huge 35% discount. And then after you've made payment, they've got a heap of different payment options. You can then just copy paste that key and activate it in Windows and you should be all good to go. Now also put the link for the Windows 11 build that we use here at the channel for our benchmark testing system, as well as the Windows 10 IoT LTSC that I use on my main computer for video editing too. So those links will be in the description below. But let's get back to the final thing about Windows 11 LTSC as well as Windows 10 LTSC. The good thing about these versions of Windows is they really don't need any tuning. They're pretty much tuned from the get-go. However, one thing I will stress is when you look at Windows, even if you're on home and pro versions, always look if this VBS setting is turned on. If it is, it's called core isolation in Windows. Just go into Windows, check if it's turned on, turn it off. You'll get a big FPS increase depending on which game. It can be pretty huge. This setting has known to cause performance drops. So make sure this is turned off. And then the next thing is just make sure your PC is tuned up properly. Your XMP profiles in the BIOS, for instance, are turned on. This is a big one for increasing performance too. Because as we saw here, the differences between these two versions of Windows wasn't huge. It was just a slight, very ever so slight uptick in performance in gaming to the after. 
And when I looked at the idle power consumption on the same desktop with all the same settings, same idle state, we could see that the usage here was very similar for our RAM usage. The CPU looked like it was just going ever so slightly lower in terms of usage, which may account for that extra average FPS. But for what it's worth, what we saw here today was a pretty straightforward update that is welcomed for LTSC users. I don't know when it'll officially be coming out or how to do this officially. I just got the update about this and I thought I'd share it. And it's also a pretty cool thing. So I like seeing improvements, even if they're very minor. Anyhow, guys, all the links will be in the description below. Hope you enjoyed this one. And hopefully I catch you with another video before Christmas. If not, Merry Christmas, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out for now. Bye.